For this video, we are going to be discussing adding and subtracting polynomials. And we are going to start by just going over some vocabulary. Specifically, we're going to answer the question, what is a polynomial? And all a polynomial is, is it is a term that means an expression with more than one term. A term being just part of an expression, like 3x is a term, and 25 is an x term, and 4x to the fifth power. Those are all terms. All right? And if I add them together, now I have a polynomial because it's an expression that has more than one term. All right? 3x, 25, and 4x to the fifth, those are all terms. So if I look, these four examples in yellow, each are polynomials. This is a small one. It only has two terms, 15 and x. This has four. This one has four terms. And this one has three terms. All right? An example that is not a monomial, or that is not a polynomial would be like um, 2x to the ninth power. That is just one term, and if we have it by itself, it is what's called a monomial, which just means that it has one term. All right, so a polynomial is just an expression that has more than one term. And when we're adding and subtracting them, all we are, oh, all we are doing are combining like terms. So that begs the question, what are like terms? Well, like terms are terms that contain the same variable raised to the same power. So for example, 3x and 9x both have the same variable, x, and it's both to the same power, the first power. So they are like terms. I can combine them and get 12x. All right, if I add 3x and 9x, I get 12x. By the same idea, b squared is the variable for these two terms, 7b squared and 1.5b squared. It's the same variable and it's raised to the same power. So I could combine the two of these and get 8.5b squared. All right, now if I look at these two, I have 13, or negative 13, mn, and 42, nm. Now realize that the, what is implied here is that these are being multiplied. This is m times n, this is n times m. Now are these like terms? Well, they both have the same variables, m, m, and n, and they're all to the same power. This is m to the first, n to the first, and n to the first, m to the first. So they are like terms. It doesn't really matter what order the variables are in. So if I was to combine these, that's negative 13 plus 42, which is 29 m, n, or 29 and m, whichever way you want to write it. These both mean the same thing. Now over here, we have some examples of terms that are not like terms, like 4w and 4w cubed. Ignore the fact that they both have a 4. The coefficients don't matter. They have the same variable, but this is w to the first power, and this is w to the third power, they are, which makes them not like terms. In order to be like terms, they have to sit have the same exponent, like over here. By the same idea, over here we have 54ab and 36ab squared. The a's are the same power, which is okay, but the b's have b to the first and b squared, which are not the same, so these are not like terms. So these cannot be combined. They are not like terms. They can't go together. All right? So... Let's look at what it means to add some polynomials. All we're going to do when we add polynomials is just combine the like terms. We're gonna go through, starting at our biggest exponent, and we're just gonna find matching terms, like terms, and put them together. So let's start with 2x cubed. So in this polynomial, 2x cubed plus 5x plus eight, I just have my 2x cubed, and then if I go over to this polynomial, I look and I don't have any x cubed. There is no matching, no like term for a 2x cubed. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to write down 2x cubed. It's by itself. All right. Now I'm going to look and I'm see if I have got an x squared somewhere. I do. It's over here. 4x squared. It's in this polynomial. 
There's no x squared over here, so there's no like term to combine. So I'm just going to bring that one down as well. 4x squared. Now I'm going to move to my x's. Here I've got 5x. Here I've got 19x. They are like terms. They have the same variable to the same power. So I'm just going to combine them. 5 plus positive 19 gives me plus 24x. 19 plus 5 is 24. My last set of like terms is ju are just my constants. 8 and negative 12. It's very important that we put this negative on there. Otherwise, it's going to completely mess up what we're doing. So 8 minus 12 gives me minus 4. So that is our simplified version of the polynomial. We've just gone through and added all of these up, and we get 2x cubed plus 4x squared plus 24x minus 4. It's pretty simple, nothing to it. All you have to do is find your like terms and combine them. So let's look at another example. Right now, I'd like you to pause the video and copy this problem down into your notes so that we can go over it. So now that you pause the video, now that you've written this down, let's look at our problem. It says, find the perimeter of the shape. Now, hopefully you remember that the perimeter is just the distance around the outside of a shape. So how do we find the perimeter? We just take the length of each side and we add them up. In this case, our lengths are all polynomials. So I've got 4x squared minus 20 plus 3x plus 5 plus x squared plus 7x plus 12. So now that we've got that written down, I want you to pause the video again and try working this one out on your own before I go over it. All right, now that you've tried it, hopefully you got an answer, and let's check and see if you got the same answer as me. So what we want to start, start by doing is going through and finding our biggest exponents. In this case, that's x squared. All right, I've got an x squared here. I do not have an x squared in this polynomial, but I do have one here. Now this x squared by itself, we can think of as being one x squared. There's a one there that we just don't write. So we, we combine them, I've got 4x squared here, plus a positive, 4X, or positive 1x squared here, 4 plus 1 gives me 5x squared. All right, now we move to our next, small, next biggest exponent, which is just x. Here I've got 3x, here I've got 7x. They're both positive, so 3 plus 7 is 10, so this becomes plus 10x, all right? And now we move on to our constants. So I've got negative 20, remember to keep that negative, it's important, positive 5, and positive 12. So if I add them up, negative 20 plus 5 is negative 15, and negative 15 plus 12 is negative 3. So I just bring that down. So our perimeter of this triangle can be given by the expression 5x squared plus 10x minus 3. All right, all we did is combine our like terms. So now I'd like you to pause the video, and before we continue on, I want you to do this try it problem. All right, now that you've done that try it problem and we're finished with adding polynomials, we're going to move on to subtracting polynomials. So subtracting polynomials is pretty similar to adding polynomials, except we have this first step, which says first distribute the negative symbol. So if we go to our second polynomial over here, we're saying it's 2x squared plus 3x plus 7 minus 5x minus 8y. So this minus here, we could think of being like a negative 1 times everything inside of this parenthesis. All right? So before we can combine our like terms, we have to multiply out this negative 1. So we say, okay, negative 1 times 5x, this is a positive 5x, so negative 1 times positive 5x is negative 5x. And negative 1 times negative 8y gives me positive 8y. All right, we're distributing out this negative. Now I just bring down my other polynomial, 2x squared plus 3x plus 7y. And now I'm just going to find my like terms and combine them. 2x squared doesn't have a like term, so it just stays by itself. 
3x goes with negative 5x. 3 minus 5 is negative 2x. All right. Now remember, these two cannot be combined because I've got an x squared and an x. And then I've got 7y and 8y. They're both positive. 7 plus 8 is positive 15y. So my final simplified polynomial is 2x squared minus 2x plus 15y. Remember, your trick that you need to do is just multiply out this negative symbol, distribute it out before we combine our like terms. So let's try one more example. Before I do this one, I'd like you to pause the video, write the problem down, and give it a try. All right, now that you've tried it on your own, let's see how you did compared to how I come up with an answer. We're going to first start by distributing our negative symbol. Negative 1 times negative 15 is positive 15 c squared. Negative 1 times positive 8 is negative 8c. And negative 1 times positive 42 is minus 42. All right, now I bring down what I've got over here. 5c cubed plus 14c squared minus 72. And now I'm just going to combine my like terms. c cubed, we've only got the one c cubed is 5c cubed, so I bring that down by itself. It doesn't have a partner to pair up with. 14c squared and 15c squared go together. They're both positive, so 14 plus 15 is positive 29c squared. If I'm looking for a c, I've only got this one term that has a c in it, negative 8c. So that comes down by itself, minus 8c. And then I've got negative 72 and negative 42. If I add those together, I get negative 114. So this is my final simplified expression after I subtracted my polynomials. The key here, the key here is just to make sure you are distributing out your negative symbol before you combine your like terms. So I'm going to leave you with a try it problem. Please do this in your notes and bring it to class to get checked tomorrow.